Hey guys, how's it going? Kripari in here. So, I've been going through my clips, and it is Murloc game after Murloc game. But, you know, I try to spice it up for the channel. I'm not feeding you guys pure Murlocs, but on some days, for long stretches of time, I'm playing lots of Murlocs. But I've been going through the games, and the games are really cool. It is a case of Murlocs just being in their peak in terms of all the different ways you can play them, all the different cool things that you can do, and the numbers that you can scale the murlocs to. It is all peaking all at once. And you might be one of those players who plays probably, you know, the more meta builds, the more consistently second and third place mid-range builds. Murlocs, get a brand, get some stats, sure. That version of the build is still there. Brand is still there, Battlecry Murlocs are still there, it's not much of a surprise. But there are different payouts at the end, now with Murky, which buffs a Murloc based on how many Battlecries you played throughout the game, so it's something you want to start considering very early on. And ways where you can scale this effect and others with young Murkai, with more abundant ways to get battle cry triggers. So it is pretty awesome out there in the world of Murlocs, and today I just want to show you guys another great example of it. Take a look. Got it. First minion is free, so this is like, <coughs> is like crazy high roll. And there, there are some Thorin builds. I just don't know if Thorin can make it. Well, I think Hooktusk can probably level a 6. Alright. I'm gonna go with that. I always start at 6k. That's getting ready for the stream. Alright, to be fair, I'm usually at like 6500 when I end the stream, so... Not that crazy. Oh, right. The first one is free. Well... And I'll do that. The Fiend is waiting for you. Kind of bad. Dangerous place, but it's nice to relax at the tournament grounds. Gloss. Yeah, I guess my F stays on one a little bit longer. The extra minion makes a difference. Here. Dude, that's pretty good. A one man army. Do I need taunt on anything later? Not really. So I'm gonna do that just to have a, a big ending card. The fields wait for you. Oh. Okay, also leveled. <laughs> Much weaker. Basically, didn't kill anything. No freeze? Uh, I want to get some threes. If anything, just to downgrade to twos. And I can't roll next turn. That, I guess, if we put some stats on this thing, it's pretty good. New PGs? Well, it's still pretty new. Like, the last iteration was them adding a few new anomaly options and changing the uh, overall distribution. Distribution. Uh, score. Chance to occur of each one. That was like two days ago. 
Uh, and I feel I'm still like very much learning some of the some of the strategies. So. Yeah. I still call these new BGs, yeah. How does he have two four drops with one triple? Oh, he doubled the. Looks like intense game. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good indeed. I don't mind buffing that, so. It's just because it's not being played, I should probably forward the things that are being buffed. You like anomalies even more than buddies? Yeah, anomalies are just... Like, the thing about anomalies is the high rolls are super extreme. I think anomalies are the highest high rolls we've ever had. And it often creates games where you have this really cool strategy that you think is working out really well, and you're gonna pull off this crazy build. And then you just get hit for like 35. And that just feels terrible. And that happens a lot. So, I don't know. I think some people are... Like, better at shrugging those off than others. I really want a level here. I didn't even die last turn, right? I'm gonna do this. That's actually kinda good. The ghoul is probably worse than this. That guy. was a good play. So the boring anomalies, there's usually like something you could do to make it interesting through like hero selection and strategy. It's just uh sometimes you're not offered those heroes, yeah. So yeah, some of them are, some of them are pretty dull. Uh, but again, I just just concede those. Then it's fine. Oh, you can still recover. Giga attack. This should be pretty good, actually. A lot of tokens to absorb. The hit. On six, the Murlocs are on the table. Yeah, for sure they are. Oh, I'd rather be fighting. Murloc gets plus one plus on every battle cry you play. Yeah, I'm always mindful of that too. I'm uh, streaming score. earlier because uh, I can. Good. Up until a few days ago, I wasn't even really going outside um, because of like sweat from the sunlight. I think I wasn't allowed to get it get my arm wet post surgery. It's also been uh, a lot of new content in PGs, been a lot of new content in PoE, and I wanted to play that new content. And the crowd goes wild. Yeah, I can't click it. It's so bizarre. Oh yeah, that's huge. What do we start selling? Probably the Anoyo. This is good. Five drop, please. Uh, not so good. Maybe it's decent with that. Yeah, maybe it's decent with that. Fine, let's roll a little more. Oh my god. 
Let's see what we get for a Murloc here. I mean, that one does kind of suck. Uh, and at this point... I think two of those... I have the, uh, this thing too. I think I'd rather Tad though. Yeah, ran there. Um, I'm actually gonna pull the trigger on this. Good call. These competitors should cool off. You're a star athlete, friend. Have two of these on turn eight is just absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> okay. I'll be quiet. How is that big? You have like a gajillion primal fins or something? Okay. Looks That's like fine. We can catch up. We can catch up. Make sure to recruit some champions. Uh, no, those are pretty, pretty trash. Maybe I do that. Let's see. That might give me the triple, but I wouldn't want to sell that, so yeah, I guess. Time to bench that one. Guess we do Here's this. A A medal is in your future. Okay. What? Why is that in his hand? It has taunts. All right. Dude. Sure. And the crowd goes wild. Look out, a triple. A three pointer. Yeah, I guess. That one plays well. I'm going to keep one. It's for the Reef Explorer, maybe the Gambler. That trigger battle cries a dragon and the dragons in this two one. Words. Orange slices. Yeah, we really just want to be like pumping out battle cries right now.
goes wild. Gotta build up a team somehow. Mm, there it is. Look out, a triple. Fish are friends, not food. The other in my favor. Make sure to recruit some champions. Gotta trade him out now and then. The odds are in my favor. Nothing hand is better. Scorer. Have two of the Murglers. your coin. Make sure to recruit some champions. <laughs> Pretty garbage. Time to bench that one. Here's a gold. That's actually good. For my stuff in hand. Is much weaker than me, but he is scamming here. Keep your chin up. That one plays well. 
Time to bench that one. Here's a gold. The second biggest card in hand, I'm not sure. Well, I get a chance to play that. I do. That one's a real. The second biggest card in hand is just not that good. Yeah, I just have to. You're a star athlete. Hope I don't rip here. Because if I can, if I can triple a young Murkai for Zap, Zap's pretty good. Rid of the garbage card. A worthy opponent. My quest begins. Time to bench that one. Here's a gold. I think a medal is in your future. I heard my zap. Really? Seriously? Dude, this guy was scamming so hard, and he got lucky every single time. Finally. <laughs> 